days. Um, <clears throat> sorry that I wasn't here last week. Um, ended up really hurting my back and then not feeling good and things just were a little crazy. So, hey Sherry. Is it Sherry or Cherie? <laughs> it's wild today. I didn't do anything with it. Usually I braid it or pull it back, but I didn't do that today. Hi, Juliet. Cherie. Okay. Um, but yeah, it was a really, really rough week last week, and I didn't get around to going live. Yeah, I didn't leave you guys. Sorry about that. It just with um moving the furniture and stuff it caused my as to go into a flare which i'm still still dealing i'm still dealing with but at least i'm able to walk now um i was back to like walker type pain having to use an old lady walker um but we're going to do the next layer of Evangeline, and I've already started a couple things for Thursday. One, you hear, you know, I told you guys that Thursday I would, Thursdays I will be doing a Mythbusters type thing. Well, um, this coming Thursday we're going to try vinyl repair, different things to repair vinyl, but also... As a myth buster, you hear a lot in the community um, not to put um, your vinyl babies and your silicone babies together. Um, if they touch, they have some sort of chemical reaction. And so I have a silicone arm, solid silicone arm and a vinyl test limb leg and two days ago I put them in this Ziploc bag together. Um, so far there is no reaction on either but we're going to keep track that I have them in like this so they lay right up against each other and we're slowly going to check and see what kind of reaction we get out of them. So I'll be updating every Thursday um, what is going on there if we end up with a pile of mush. So, but also this Thursday, like I said, I'm going to do vinyl repair because I've had a few people ask me ways to, to um, fix babies. We have, um, this is a Noah stick face and a bunny ate his lip off. He also had a bad paint job by somebody over an okay paint job. But, um, yeah, I've done a bunch of different silicones. Actually, oh, do you want to see what do you want to see what I was working on? And he's almost finished. I'm, I just need to put him together. I'm working on a partial. I have him all in a stork blanket right now. Um, the smallest silicone I've done, I can show you. She's 8 inches. She's Jovi Elf. I have her over here. But, oh no, my blanket got fuzzies on him. Oh, look at his face. Isn't he just beautiful? I just matted him yesterday. Yeah, I do make them and sell them. Um, you can contact me on my Facebook page at um, It's Beyond the Veil Oddities on Facebook. Um, there will be twigs and berries. Because he has a tummy plate. I'll just try and keep it mostly covered with my hand. I wasn't trying to show it, but um, he has an anatomically correct belly plate. 
and I gave him the purple stump. Uh, I, I am on Facebook and here. I think you can private message here um, about it. Um, beyond, or um, Instagram also. All are Beyond the Veils oddities. Um, here's his little leg. He has cute little feet. I do my silicones different than a lot of silicone artists. Um, I'm not going for a really smooth look. Um, I want it to be blotchy. They do have veining and undertones instead of looking like perfectly smooth little dolls. Mine look like freshly hatched newborn babies. Um, even Squishy I even gave um, Cradle Cap to. He has great little toes, perfect little toenails. Um, but yeah, he's the one that I just, I matted him. He hasn't had his bath to get off the extra matting powder. But as you can see on his face, hopefully this shows, but he has like blues and purples. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to decide. I actually was just talking to Sonia about this a few minutes ago. Um, cause she called me. But, uh, I love the way that BB, if nobody knows who they are, Bountiful Baby, I love the way their bodies look. Like, I love their, um, their chest and their little butts um but the fabric of them is kind of scratchy and icky i don't don't like that as much and i love the fabric that mcpherson makes their bodies out of like it's almost it feels almost like chamois shamwow um it's so amazing and thick and I love, but their chest isn't as nice. Their butts are okay, but their chests aren't as nice as BB's. And I have both. Um, well, I have the BB body here, and my McPherson bodies are supposed to be coming today. And I don't know which I want to do, like to put him together with. Um, I'm just unsure. So. That's the only thing holding me up. Um, oh, if you guys don't mind me standing up and walking here, I can show you the little eight inch um, fairy. She's rooted now and she's supposed to have really wild hair. She's, she's a wild fae. And her private parts aren't distinguishable. She's kind of like a Ken doll. And she's, I'm going to be putting her eyes in here directly. Prices vary depending on what sculpts are available at the time. Um, she was poured by D3 Creations, which is a great um, place to work with. And I love their matting powder. And, oh my goodness, I just looked out. I can't tell if it's raining or snowing or something in between. But anyway, she's one of, I think, 10. Um, and she's from not this past December, but the one before. They did like a chipmunky type thing this year. But um, I got the one of the few. And... I just finished painting and matting her. She is for Colby. If Colby watches this, here's your baby. I love you, Colby. Um, but yeah, she's she's super, super cute. But prices really vary depending on what you want. Um, bald or rooted. Um, the thing with rooting silicone is there's no way to seal it inside the head so you put the hair in deeply 
and hope that it stays. But if you're like me and you're planning on carrying your um, silicones around, um, you mean like uh, realistic babies? Like small babies? The smallest baby I've done, hold on, I'll be back again. Okay, I'm working on this one now, and she is for Ann, who just said hi. Hi, Ann. Um, she has not been matted yet. I have her wrapped up in a cotton cloth so she doesn't get things on her. Oh, my. She does have girl parts, so I will keep my fingers over them. Um, isn't she just the cutest? little baby she is I think 12 inches um, and she is as I said for Anne she's poured in echo 20 I believe maybe 30 um, and again she hasn't been matted that's on my to-do list for today and she is I me mean, I keep trying she has very very realistic little girl parts um, but I think I'll get flagged if I show you. But she has a tongue and gums and everything in her little mouth. So, she's really cute. But, uh, prices for the little ones like her would start around $600, I'm going to say. Um, depending, again, on the sculpt that I can get. Because... Silicone sculpts are a little bit different than um, vinyl sculpts. They're only good for a certain amount of time. Let me move little Jovi so she doesn't get anything on her. Um, and then they stretch and they don't give you a good baby anymore. So um, sometimes you think you can get... Um, it's funny, the way the light is hitting my hair, it looks gray. But that's where I bleach my hair in order for the red, and it's fading there. Um, I can look around for them. Again, if you message me um, the details of what exactly you're looking for, I can find ones and say I can get this for this much, and this for this much, and this for this much. I can do partials like Pip that I was just showing. That's what I named him, Pip Squeak. Um... I can do ones of him for eight to nine hundred. Again, depending on like if you want rooting, the price goes up a little bit. Um, but the price can go all the way up to like five thousand if you're looking at you know a rare, maybe Elena Westbrook sculpt or Sylvia Manning sculpt or something like that. So, um, it really, it really varies from, you know, the small ones, um, all the way up to really, really high end, which I showed, um, on my other video, the differences between them. So just, like I said, message me. We won't do it over the video here because you don't want everybody waiting while we discuss your order. And uh, we can discuss what you're looking for, and I'll see what I can find. Um, I do run a slight waiting list. Uh, I think right now I'm booking April. So I'm busy, busy. Yeah, you can do it on Instagram, Facebook, or here. All, all of them have messengers, and all of them give me alerts on my phone. Um, obviously, I won't answer until I'm not doing a video. Also keep in mind, I always answer within a couple hours, but keep in mind that I am the carer for my mother-in-law who has um, dementia. So sometimes I get caught up with her on things that she needs. But anyway, Evangeline is ready for her next layer. Now one thing I did that was a boo-boo, um, the Harper that I was working on needed a um, yellow wash, and I accidentally, 
I keep forgetting about covering the baby parts, so please just realize it's an accident. I try. Um, well, silicones, I can work with you on a payment plan. Like, we can figure something out. Um, but anyway, I accidentally did a yellow wash on her. But the good news is that that's what was next. And I only did it on her tummy plate. So don't think that I am forgetting her tummy plate when you watch the video. Don't be like, oh no, well she didn't do the tummy plate. I did by accident before. But the rest of her is getting it now. And we're going to start off with a half a tablespoon of Mona Lisa. And while we paint, we are going to talk a little bit about scammers in the community when I'm blabbing after I give directions. So stay tuned. Woo! Um, bum, 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 bum. Or no, what's the Law and Order one? Like, chong ching or whatever it is. I don't know. You are the father. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to use raw sienna. It's a nice yellowy, almost like yellow honey a little bit. And we're going to do two brushes. Now, we're going to do two layers of this. One with our brush and one with a mottle sponge. The brush is going to be first because if we brush it on before we bake it, what's going to happen? It's going to smudge off all of our beautiful little models. So, two brushes of yellow ochre, half tablespoon of thinner, which my thinner should be here today. I'm really hoping it is. Those of you who watched me on Facebook a few minutes ago, I'm almost out. Those of you that didn't, here it is. That's all the thinner that I have in my house, and I ordered it because where I'm living out here in the country with my mother-in-law, mother there's no craft store at all. Um, there's Walmart, which doesn't have Mona Lisa, and Home Depot, which doesn't have Mona Lisa. Other than that, crap out of luck. So, we already did her tummy plate. I'm going to move it over. Oh, speaking of um, Cherie, look who else is on my painting table. This is a custom memorial baby for Cherie. Um, I started her yesterday, and once I finish with Evangeline in this video, she's next for more details. So, I have really bad dry mouth for some reason. I'm sorry I'm being rude and drinking on my video. So, let's take a look at, I know, I'm like showing everybody's baby. I'm like, this is Anne's baby, this is Cherie's baby so funny. It just worked out that way. It wasn't planned. I wasn't planning on showing Anne's. And I don't know if Anne is still here because she's been waiting for me to take a picture to show her what her baby looks like. So, surprise Anne! But anyway, we're going to use our brush. Start at the nape. Long strokes up to the top of the head. I go one direction here like that band. I couldn't tell you one single song that they play, but I've seen memes about them, so I know there's a band called One Direction. If you're a fan, sorry. Not sorry that you're a fan. Sorry that I don't know who they are. But it's a nice, thin, nice, thin wash. And before we reload our brush, great. Good job there. Suck it. Suck it. She not Okay, I use, as my paint, paint table, I use a great big sewing table, and it has like little compartment shelves on the door of it, which I always keep open, and she just knocked it off its little, little thing, so I had to put it back on. But anyway, before you reload your brush, do your ears. That way you don't get too much paint in them, but just in case, pounce those creases at the ear. So, scamming in the community. I don't know how many are on Facebook and have followed the saga. 
Um, and I'm going to talk about it here without crying because I took my anxiety meds on Facebook. I was a mess. Sorry, you guys. But recently, a couple days ago, I had somebody steal pictures, my work in progress pictures, of a beautiful Levi. Well, I say beautiful, but I'm biased because I love her. Um, Native American Levi that I had just completed last week and already her picture was stolen and sent by someone who was in the Facebook group where I teach how to reborn, um, which is a very small group. We're very particular about who we let in. And this person from in my group, my trusted little group, she stole the pictures, sent it to a client of hers, and told them it was work in progress of a baby, she, a custom baby they had ordered. And it was not. It was my baby. Um, she also had stolen a few other pictures. It wasn't just my baby. It was other people's babies, too, which makes no sense because they didn't really look alike. But she put her logo on them and claimed them as her own. And it shook me, y'all. Like, I'm, I'm having a hard time. I am almost, like, I just don't want to reborn or be in the community anymore. And reborning and teaching has always been my escape from missing my, see? I'm not going to cry. Missing my husband and my kids. <clears throat> so. <clears throat> painting and doing babies. Um, are my escape. To keep my mind busy. So that I don't think much about missing my life mate. And my kids who are 500 miles away while I'm down here and now <clears throat> I promised I wasn't going to do this now I'm very upset and don't know if I want to continue doing what I'm doing although I have five million kits and orders um that I obviously would have to finish before then and I have to finish our giveaway baby don't worry I'm not a scammer so I will finish her and she will be given away but it's a hard time hard time for me not because my picture was stolen necessarily I mean that that makes me angry but the thing that really bothers me the most is that the person who did it, I had spent nights messaging and helping with questions that she had about reborning or, or what to do in certain situations or, you know, that kind of thing when it comes to reborning. Um, we were friends, like reborn friends. We didn't really talk personal life. But it was somebody that I had tried to help quite a bit and then my thanks for that is using my pictures to scam somebody and now I just don't know what I'm doing I'm kind of afloat in a dream not really a dream a nightmare of why am I doing this why am I involved in something where these people just are out to hurt other people because I've always tried to help other people. And anyway, that's where I'm at. Um, hopefully, my love and joy of doing this will return. And it won't just make me feel sad when I'm sitting and doing it. Because right now, I just don't even want to be doing it anymore. Other than the things that 
I'm kind of obligated to. And that leads to me being angry because it stole my one escape from what's going on. And just so y'all you know, know, that basket isn't a mess. That's my silicone paints. And for some reason, it ended up under the tree. I think that um, when the dogs were acting up earlier, which wasn't on the live video, that Phaedra, my big dog, I have a dog that's half husky and half um, German Shepherd. Um, I think she knocked it and, went, and it went over there. So, um, just my, my house isn't a mess. It's actually very organized, but there's a random crate sitting there and I don't, and my other boxes, my pretty boxes under the tree, those are like my sculpting supplies that I, um, I put them in pretty boxes and put them under my tree, which I will be putting my zombies on soon. It's not a Christmas tree. It's a black tree that is a zombie. I use it as a zombie tree. And my little zombies will be hung up there very shortly. And then my sculpting things are under it like presents. So it's just my weird sense of humor. Thank you for bearing with me through more Shelly rabbit trails. Um, I hope I'm not missing comments while I'm looking down. Um, I forget I can do this. Um, all messages. You can see them for just a minute. Um, Oh, y'all are talking about the scammers. Thank you. Um, yeah, it, it really, it was a gut punch. It was awful. Um, and of course, like all scammers, she has 10 million reasons why it happened. Um, she... A friend had her phone. Um, see, I was totally in love. Like, totally, this was 100% my joy and my escape from my current situation. And to have it ruined just really peased me off. Um... I'm trying not to allow it. I'm here. I as as my friends in chat know, I'm so sorry y'all. I really didn't want to even um go live today, but since I was sick last week, I was like, "Oh, I can't skip 2 weeks. They're going to think I'm a flake and just bailed." But if I'm ever not on for a week or whatever, or miss one, it is because I'm dealing with an autoimmune disease that sometimes keeps me in bed for a couple days, or I'm having issues with my mother-in-law, like that she has to go to the hospital or some such thing. Otherwise, I'll be here doing steps on her, answering questions if I can, and getting her ready for our giveaway. And also Thursdays, the Mythbusters, which should be fun. I have a few ideas for that that I just really want to make it fun and funny. Maybe doing Mythbusters and tearing up wonderful kits will um, help me find my joy. Wouldn't that be funny? Destroying these kits gave me my happiness back. Last leg for this layer. Again, I'm just brushing it nice, even strokes. Make sure you get in between the toes. Like, oh, and we're doing the entire kit, soles of the feet and everything. Don't skip. Pounce out your creases. Does anybody have any questions while I'm looking up? Because comments as I've said in other videos, they go away super fast. Yeah, um, 
hip is 16 inches. But like I said, you'll have to message me. I don't want to discuss that on video. But I definitely can get preemie size. That's not a problem. Anybody else have a question? Something to say? No problem, Julia. Ugh, my tongue, I'm telling you, I got bad dry mouth. It, I, it's hard to talk. My tongue is like sticking to my mouth. I don't understand why. I don't get it. So cheers with our, who knows what this is. Anybody? And you are here. Did you see your baby? Um, I have Mona Lisa in a baby food jar. And I just swish the brush lightly in there and then put it into my brush holder because I don't want to mess them up. Yes, Mountain Dew, my drink of choice. It's actually Diet Mountain Dew. Um, it is my um, nectar of the goddess. My favorite drink. Normally I have it in a um, bottle, but I ran out. Yeah, I clean, I clean with, sorry, I'm getting off on my Mountain Dew trail. Um, I put just plain Mona Lisa into the jar. Hey, since I'm finished using the brush for this color, let's do it. Let me take off what's left of this baby food label. Uh, my little Chihuahua, when she gets sick, she eats plain turkey baby food, so I have loads of baby food jars. But I just take my brush and swish it around in the thinner, wipe it off. Then I really wipe it well on my paper towel. If color is coming out a lot on the paper towel, then I, then I do it again. With red, that's not usually a problem then it'll still be moist with thinner and I put it in my brush holder. Um, that's all. Don't do any other cleaning of the brushes. And my mop brushes, I don't clean at all um, like that. I keep them dry, but where I brushed the thinner onto the paper towel, I wipe my mop brush on that area and it takes off any residue. Excuse me. <clears throat> that would be the Mountain Dew talking. Um, I'm waiting for her to flash and we can do our second layer, but for the second layer, oh, I am going to still use that brush, so I cleaned it for no reason. Thanks, Ann! But, um, have your mottling sponge done. Let me see if I can see these messages. Um, will it just be the doll or would it come with nappies or in clothes? Um, yeah, I, I usually, with any baby I send out, um, they have diaper on, um, an extra diaper. I mean, it varies. Like, if I'm doing a theme baby, like when I did Pennywise, he shipped with like the red balloon and a paper boat that I made and um, an arm that looked like he had chewed on it. Um, Harry Potter has like a wand and oh, the Harry Potter glasses. He's in a little owl blanket. Um, a note from McGonagall. Um, but a normal, normal baby. Um, I usually send like they're in an outfit with a diaper wrapped in a blanket. Um, extra diaper, passy, that sort of thing. So they do come dressed. <clears throat> but once they're finished flashing off, you don't want to do it until they are finished flashing off, which she mostly is. It's just her little, little things here. Oh, jeez. I'm having trouble here. Um, 
Oh, uh, thanks. Thanks. That Pennywise, I just loved him. I need to get a kit and make one just for me so I can take him around grocery shopping and stuff. I took him to Walmart with me. A couple of those videos, I have more, but a couple of them are here. Um, I But I want to do Edward Scissorhands and Chucky and Freddy. I have a way to do... Um, To do Freddy with his eh, skin. Oh yeah, I love I loved him. He was one of the hardest I've ever had to ship away. He and um, Freya, who Anne has, I I loved both of those. I'm trying to think who else I really fell in love with. There are a few that it's like, oh man, shipping this one is really hard. And then there are other ones that I'm like, geez, go home and away from me. Yeah, I'm doing Freddy. I'm doing Jason. Um, shoot, I'm trying to think now, like all of the old 80s, I'm doing a full set for somebody. Um, isn't Freya just awesome? I did, that sculpt I just fell in love with. I just, um, Michael Myers, I want to do him. I just have to figure out his mask because he'd be a regular baby with a Mike Myers mask so but yeah they want all of those pinhead but so you'll be seeing those I what I need to do is do maybe videos of who's going out um do you think that would be cool I don't know I mean it's whatever you guys want to watch but like babies right after I do their portraits for their mom, do like a little video of them and be like, look, it's Chucky or whoever. I don't know. That might be cool. Might be boring. I don't want to be boring. I'm usually, I try not to be boring. Okay, so we're going to take our model sponge, same color, go over. We're just adding the look of a subcutaneous fatty um, layer. It's kind of funny, as one of my best friends pointed out when I was crying about, I don't know if I can be in this community, and then a few minutes later I'm talking about all these big plans of stuff that I'm doing. So, ay, ay, ay. What is a crazy girl going to do? What is she going to do? But yeah, this, doing the second yellow color with the modeling sponge is just to give us that um, under layer of subcutaneous body fat is what we're doing. So we're still on her sub-Q layers. We aren't going to model her lips, but get everywhere else. Make sure you're twisting and turning your sponge, not on her, but in between pounces, so you're not getting rows of the same look. I know I say that every video that I use a sponge, sorry. Get in her ears. Chin chopper. It's like no smell. Wait, no. How's it go? Head knocker, eye blinker, no smeller, mouth eater, chin chopper. Get your, get your, get your. Sorry, used to do that to my kids. I'm also going to take my brush and just hit. The gristly part of the ear, not the inner ear canal, just like that gristly Y look to make it just a little more yellow. Good. And it should be fairly subtle. I'll, if she's flashed off by the time that I've done the whole kit, then I'll show her to you. Hopefully she is. Um... Any other questions about reboarding or anybody got something to say? I always got something to say. This kit is just, I tell you what, with me being kind of like meh right now, 
I'm like, you know what? I'm going to pay all of my Laura Lee Eagles babies because all of them but her for my personal collection. And I'm like, I'm going to paint Journey and I'm going to paint Miracle. Who else do I have? Americus and Esme. I don't have Miracle. I really want Miracle. If anybody has a blank Miracle kit, hit me up. We can work something out. But not till payday because I'm broke. Really want a miracle so bad. I love how her hands are like, cause my kids did that a lot when they were first born, when they had that startle reflex. And that I think is just why I love her so much. So many of the kids have beautiful hands that are, ba but for whatever reason, I just am in love with, it's kind of like me being in love with Levi legs. <gasps> Maybe I'll do like, Miracle arms, Levi legs. I have to think of who has the face that I like most. Wouldn't that be hilarious, like a Frankenstein? Frankenstein. Like these little hands that I'm doing for an alt baby. My little, my little vampire. He's, I don't know when I'm gonna get a chance to work on him again. He started, but he's not finished. Woo! my sponge right in you have me excited again about what <laughs> huh? hmm? what do we get to be excited about oh painting <laughs> I'm glad somebody is you can have my my old excitement while I sit here Rawr. Um, again, we did the palms, the fingers, everything. We want this um, subcutaneous layer. I don't know if other artists do subcutaneous layers. I'm not sure. I do a lot of layers before I even get to like the skin and the upper mottling, which to me, that subcutaneous layer, layer, once you get to that point, it starts to really develop a depth in the baby that makes it look like skin. And when I take my babies out in public, I have people just going crazy. I had a big scene at the local grocery store here the other day because... I just had Squishy in an outfit, no hat or anything, and I guess they felt it was chilly. And the woman started yelling at me and wanted me to um, like she wanted to call the cops on me because I didn't have my baby taken care of the right way and um, luckily the yeah I'm working on the giveaway baby she's the giveaway baby yeah, well not even CPS she was calling the cops on me which I don't know what I mean I guess maybe they would call CPS but luckily the manager of the store I'm in there all the time. Um, he was like, it's a doll. It's okay. But she wouldn't even listen. And they just, oh, no. It, it was just horrible. On a day, I already was like, seriously? I was having a bad day anyway. Then this lady is accosting me, screaming at me in the store. And... Of course, a lot of people gather around because I live out in the country, so there's nothing else to do. So let's all go watch this crazy lady with the red hair and the tattoos get screamed at for taking her baby outside. And the woman wouldn't listen that it was a doll. And we were trying to show her and she was just, oh, it was just. 20 minutes of ridiculousness, which brought on my anxiety, which is why I have Squishy. Yeah, I mean, 
I get it that people are trying to be like good and babies should be taken care of and not left in cars and not taken in the cold. Um, I, I When I got home, I pulled out Squishy's snowsuit so she has it. So from now on when we go out, she'll be in her snowsuit so that doesn't happen again. Um, I get that it may come from a good place, but when you take it to that point, who are you helping? Because say I was a young mom and not an old witch with a doll, like you probably could have done a lot of damage to her. Me, I'm just like, oh, I can't take all of the noise. The noise is what got me. I was like, I can't do this. It's too loud. So anyway, that happened. But that's because I build up my layers and <clears throat> there are a lot of really pretty reborns that are very pretty dolls and I may have said this before I don't want what looks like a pretty doll I want what is being held to look like a baby that you're expecting to take a breath any minute I want it to be very realistic I want it to not fool people in the bad way but where people just wouldn't know if you didn't tell them that it was a doll okay her head has flashed off so hopefully you can see this is very subtle let's see if i can get some light on her no that makes it worse anyway i don't know if y'all can see but it's super subtle. It gives us a nice fatty layer. So we're going for realism. We want the baby to look like any minute it's just going to start crying or take a breath or something. Not just a pretty doll. So if anybody has any questions or anything like that, um, now's the time. If you're not watching live and you're watching later, you can comment on the video and I will answer. If you want to order or have questions, message. If you want entered into the drawing for Evangeline, make sure you're subscribed here. You also get entered every time you like a video, share a video, like my page, like my Instagram, or comment. It's not, if we have a comment, if we have a conversation in the comments, it's not um, every comment you make, but one comment on every video. I do, as, I do payment plans, yes, for silicone and for my Reborns. I, I do always do a payment plan and I try and be very, very flexible. Um, if you have Facebook, uh, the reviews that are on it are from customers and they... Um, quite a few of them have mentioned how flexible my payment plan is. It's probably one of the most flexible you have. Um, my Squishy, the, uh, the one that is my personal therapy baby, is that who you're talking about? I don't have her in here right now because I had too many baby. Oh, the 12 inch for Anne. Yeah, isn't she adorable? She's so sweet. Anne's baby. Anne, have you thought of a name? Do you know a name yet? I guess Anne. Anne has a teenage daughter, so sometimes Anne has to go. Especially if it's after school times. But anyway, thanks for being with me today. Thanks for listening to me ramble. Midge. Oh, you're keeping the name I've been calling her. Oh, thank you. Um, that's an estimate, but yeah, around there. Oh, and that's so sweet. I love that name. Love that name. That's what I call her, Midge. So that's sweet. 
I make up names for all the babies I do. Like, um, it's, I'm kind of crazy about, it. like, if I'm making one and it starts to look like he's a Eugene, then I call him Eugene, and my customers are like, why are you calling my baby Eugene? So I'm weird that way. Anyway, you guys have a great day, and I will be back on 